<laughs> Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Wait, wrong game. Sure, there's speculation and some tenuous links connecting Fantasy Zone and Space Harrier, but in their original arcade forms, the two games are as different as night and day. This Fantasy Zone doesn't have you running into the horizon, packing some huge freaking cannon thing, shooting down dragons and whatnot. No, Fantasy Zone is a more traditional side-scrolling shooter, though the side in question is up to you. Each stage is connected at the ends, creating a cylinder of hostiles that have to meet their match at the, um, wings of the Opa Opa. I just got like a Greek wedding here. Watch some gameplay footage, I'm gonna see if I can put my hands on some baklava. Ah, seriously. Opa Opa is the name of your ship. Or the pilot or something. If this game isn't good at making sense, it's good at being cute and deceptively brutal. Rather than just making it to the end of the stage, you're on your own to navigate the course, the ultimate goal being the destruction of the ten little enemy base thingies, technical term, that are protected so well Fort Knox feels jealous. Make them explode and they'll drop coins you can spend to outfit your craft with weapon systems, speed boosts, and all important extra lives. Let's not kid ourselves, this is a veritable maelstrom of cuteness and flying ordnance. Your only defense is you know, buying speed boost to try to go faster because one hit will take you completely out of commission. And you'll lose all of your items. Doesn't help the Fantasy Zone, being one of the grandparents of modern shooters, doesn't subscribe to this bullet hell concept of center mass. No, your hitbox is your entire sprite. And bosses like the Rain Down Chaos and Fire and Brimstone that gives you maybe, maybe a pixel or two in either direction. Buckle up, kid, the worst is yet to come. Did I mention that the concept of continues doesn't apply in the Fantasy Zone? You get your allocation of lives, you burn them out quick because this game's insane, and then you get to start over at the beginning and think about what you've done. Fortunately for the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions included on Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, you've got three slots for state saves. Unless you're gonna go full cacho on us and do it the hard way, you're gonna be making use of those slots time and again. This is a game designed to get you on the arcade machine, rough you up considerably, and then spit you back out again. Next kid gets a turn. It's maddening, especially from a modern sensibility, but you can really appreciate just how ridiculously high the bar was set for old arcade games. So brutal, you'll want to break plates and eat baklava. 